What a lot of people don't think about is plate gauge itself, okay? All saw plates vary in plate gauge, the thickness of the plate itself. And if you think about it, the thicker the plate, the coarser the teeth, the bigger the saw, the more robust the cut requirement is for timber framing or for ripping uh, a saw to whip. I'm sawing redwoods, I don't want a thin plate. <laughs> you don't want a thin, dainty plate. Now, at the opposite end of the continuum, the smaller the plate, the thinner the plate, the finer the teeth, the more delicate the cut. So all saws fall somewhere within that continuum, all right? A lot of people think, well, a saw is a saw is a saw, you know, or a saw set, a saw set. I gotta set the damn teeth. Well, how much do you want to set the teeth and what's appropriate for that gauge of metal you're working with to begin with? What is the mission of that saw? So you're going to do some timber framing, you're going to cut down a white pine somewhere in the Northwoods of Wisconsin and you're back to the land and you're building your survival cabin. Well, you're not going to wait years for that wood to dry out. Yeah. You're, going to, you're going to start working with it just like the settlers did. So this is wood with a high moisture content that's soft wood. So you're going to want more set on that plate with a thicker plate to work that wood. On the other hand, if you're building an arts and crafts style quarter sawn white oak coffee table that you've got inch and a half deep mortises to take a, uh, a tenon, right? Well, you're not gonna use that same kind of saw. You're gonna use a saw with a thinner plate. You're probably gonna use one of our bayonets with an 018 thick plate, thin plate rather, that's filed 14 PPI hybrid. That'll get the job done there. But you have a different set requirement there because you have a different mission for that saw using different woods. Think of the difference between soft wood and hard wood as a bundle of sticks or a bundle of straws. A, a good metaphor for soft wood is a bunch of soda straws bound together. You still got junk inside those straws, right? For Fully cured hardwood, that's more akin to a, bunch of, to a bundle of coffee stir sticks. Mm -hmm. stir sticks. They're still hollow inside, but much smaller diameter and they're dry, okay? So it's reduced different. amount of set, thinner plate gets you everywhere with that kind of uh, cutting requirement. So all of this pertains to what is your woodworking style? That's why we opened up the class introducing what our style, what, what do we like to do? Well, you like making boxes, all right? I like doing temper frame. So just think about what your what your mission is, what what it is you want to do. 